time now. We are under an ABC7 first alert. And as you can see on Doppler radar, the rain has now moved east. So the shower's not an issue at this time, but the winds will be a problem. That cold front's going to dive into the area. But overnight, we did have that cold front move in, and it did bring light to moderate showers. Some areas got hit harder than others, but for the most part, area-wide, the rain wasn't really our main concern. That cold front will slowly start tracking through the area. I think it will finally have made its way through west, northeast, slowly track east through at least the 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock hour. So as a result, the winds will be cranking up. There's our future track. I just want to show you that I think around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the rain will clear out. So your morning commute, you won't have to deal with any heavy rainfall or dropping the kids off at school or if they're walking. At 10 o'clock, we're still partly cloudy, still not seeing any rain. Here are wind gusts across town. Silver City, close to 30. The strongest winds I have been seeing so far this morning have been in Ruidoso, El Paso at the International Airport, 24 mile per hour gusts. So I think we'll see our peak wind gusts from 8 o'clock this morning until 3 o'clock this afternoon at 45 miles per hour, strongest along the eastern slopes of the area mountains. So let's jump to this weekend forecast. No rain, it will be cooler. Once this cooler air settles in, it's going to be chilly on Saturday. So those of you graduating, uh, Saturday, UTEP, congratulations. It will be cooler, 55, so family members heading out there to support your graduates, just dress warm. NMSU also graduating this weekend. Tonight and tomorrow, of course, will be the ceremonies. Saturday, we're at 53 degrees. You'll just need your jacket. Then by Sunday, we're at 58, and I don't think the winds will be a problem. But El Paso, I think we could see our first freeze of the season. I know it's a little late, but I think Sunday will be the morning we do see our first freeze. And Las Cruces, 29 degrees for you all. There's your weekend forecast that just showed you we're going to be dry, cooler. Next week, we'll be warming up with a slight chance for rain on Wednesday and Thursday. Andres?